Come on. Arr. Got it. Oh gosh. He is vicious. His teeth. Uh oh, almost coming back. starting. I know you can hear me. I know you're listening. Here we go. Let's go, Chad. You want anything you want to say, Jacob? I know you're listening. That's a hole in one. It, oh, yeah, oh, hole in one. That's what we call hole in one. Yep, 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 yep. On step one here, punching the eye. We we're supposed to do ten. You put eight in there? Yeah. Oh, I guess we're doing eight. It's not too late. Punch out, I'd like to win. And don't put them right next to each other. Have them in between hot ones so they heat up faster. Come on. Come on. Oh, it knows it wasn't. Here it comes. Here it comes. Woo! Hold one. That's four in a row, Chad. Keep your count. Keep count. What happened to the other slugs that were on the anvil? Are you sure you didn't pocket them? Stealing a man's hard-earned slugs is federal. That's federal, Chad. Federal. Today. Now there's a flood, so we're gonna go look at the flood to see if it's gonna, holy cow, that's a lot of water. If it is gonna affect our shop, uh, to see if we need to like evacuate or keep going. Apparently the shop is pretty bomb proof just from what I've been told over the years from all the floods that come through here. At the river here in town, looks like it's getting pretty high. We might all be forked here really soon, but only time will tell. So we're gonna head back to the shop here and uh, forge some axes in these dire times because everyone knows that we need axes. So this is a uh, Hoffmaster forge person with a uh, uh, channel, Hoff and Blacksmithing, finishing up this broadcast. Thank you.
gradually get larger and larger. So you have to start with a small one, drive it in, take it out, put in a larger one. For both sides. This is Chad's kid, come over here, put it in. The drift gets very hot very quickly inside the steel. Take it out for the final drift for this heat. Here we have the eye size, which is much larger than the punched hole one heat. Next heat is our marathon heat. Nice one. Look at the lugs on that ass. Right now I'm flattening in some of the cross section on the blade, just refining it a bit from the rough out that I did on the power hammer. Trimming up some of the excess material on the blade. Going for the shaper. Feel the burn, Chad. Feel the burn. No, ow. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think this one will work. I think you're crazy. Seems about to have a show because my pants are fixing to fall. Are you okay? Yeah? Are you okay? Where, where did it hit you? Where did it hit you? He's saying that it hit him in the crotch. 
Instant replay. Whoa! <laughs> Too funny. <laughs> it really did hit him in the crotch. <laughs> I can't <stop> the <laughs> Instant replay. Ooh. I saw my test flash before my eyes. Oh. No, I saw them flash up into my eyes. I saw that too. So my favorite part of forging the fireman's axe is of course the big spike on the back of the axe. Right now it just looks like a normal axe pole. So normally I do, I, I rough forge it out on the hydraulic press and then clean it up on the anvil. We're going to try forging it on the power hammer and we'll just see how it turns out. This is an experiment, never ever forged a spike on the power hammer before, so it, we might uh, it might fail, or it might turn out perfect straight off the hammer, or it might come out rough and I still have to do some on the anvil. We'll see. I'm just going to try it out. Chad is going to be putting this tool in and out of the dies, which will help forge the spike. Here we go. throwing that one away, Chad. Yeah, that's terrible. All right, the first one sucked terribly. I threw it away. So we're going for attempt number two now. I'm going to forge out the hammerhead shape on the press, go to the power hammer, and try to forge out the spike. Chad, so when I come off the power hammer, I hand it to you. You don't need to make this a fine tip because we'll grind that in. But this needs to be nice and straight. And you might come in here a little bit, clean that up just to where it looks like that. OK? 
Okay. Let's do it again. Putting in the logo and a little bit of a tape around the edge of the blade. Got to put the drift back in here so we can put the stamp in. Over the press. Hot stamp. Logo in. Over to the power hammer, blade. I hope you enjoyed watching us forge axes. Just another day in the shop. Chad now is going to be straightening axes. And I don't know where I was going with that. Take two. You're a good boy. Am I still in the frame? All right, 
Jacob. I was going, and that was gonna be the good one. You messed it up. All right, that's it for this video. Just another day in the shop forging some some axes. This time, fireman's axes, which I think is the first time that we've actually shown fireman's axes. Like every time, other than this, it's been camp axes for some reason. We actually make quite a few different types of axes, so try to get a different type of axe in future videos. Um, the power hammer was really fun to use. It's the Anyang 165. It's an absolute beast. It hits so, so hard. And it's really easy to use. Um, so that was really cool, exciting new piece of equipment to get in the shop. Look for more videos in the future of us forging axes or making knives or probably some leather work also in the future. So appreciate it, and we'll see you in the next video. Oh, you got floppy lips. Arr. Oh, but I think you need to drink some water. You gums look a little dehydrated. So you guys remember that flood that we did the news reporting on earlier today? This is the same day. Same day. Flood's gone. This is what weather's like. Crazy. It's nice out now. Welcome to the valley. Thank you.